to the test six. We're here at the Times Change North Round One launch party. Last battle of the day, main event. What's that fucking going on? Yeah. 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 Much love, man. We had a lot of the crowd disappear. It's fair enough. Shouts to the original crowd who did hang around for a while as well. It's all good. This is the main event. We've got two of the heavy hitters in the league right now from the south, bringing it to the north, entertain the crowd. Yes. Well, what's left of the crowd anyway? This is going to be sick. All right, man. On the left, you've seen it many times before in Don't Flop. Sensor, mate. Yeah. Troy, the white guy. Yeah. Do this, man. Big up Troy, the white guy as well. Shouts to everyone, man. You've seen Sensor before. And on the right, you've seen him at the last blood in the water, the last right in rom com. We got Prince Kong, mate. Let's get this shit. Yeah. Oh, man! Yeah. I'm gonna drink. Yeah. I'm gonna miss it. And, uh, Maybe even a lion, who knows? Sets a one to flip, so it's uh, one minute on Prince Kong. Let's go. Yo, because of you, we brought this beef to the Chef Rose, and you're still breaching the dress code. <laughs> Yo, and turning up late, you're leaving these people pissed on some Mariah, Whitney, and Tina shit. Some J Lo, Britney, Christina shit. I think you know what I mean? Some diva shit. Now I couldn't let this piece of shit beat me. So I rang ZT and found out his real name's Dan Peachy. <laughs> I was like, shit, that was damn easy. Dan Peachy, your hair is mad greasy. I back Lamb's Freeney, you sip Lamb Breen. Yo, I dropped a chopper like a Sweeney, send this rapper to heaven. Watch me tear this cunt to pieces like the strap on from Seven. <laughs> and without Earth's help, this prick couldn't function. I'm exposing sensor like a failed super injunction. Woo! And does this punk have actual reasons that his head needs panel beating? Fuck it, pass a hammer. I'll do my best not to smash your teeth in. Yeah. This is slap a faggot season. I hope you get jacked this evening. I have to leave the battle scene and just to add, get stabbed by season. <laughs> <laughs> so please don't get cocky, star. I'll wait till it's gotten dark, catch you in a Norwich park and give you a Harry Potter scar with a coffee jar. Woo! Yeah. 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 Is it? Sorry, Sorry. that's one. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Uh, one minute on centre, let's go. Let's go. You're a prince, so it's sure for him to have a nice career. What the fuck is your dad the king of? Gala Bingo on Brighton Pier? <laughs> yeah, your bird being chatted up by Jolly J is something I'll mention for certain. That bitch started blushing, looked like each sentence was working. She was like a Jew being strangled the way her face turned red for that German. Shit! <laughs> Desperate person! Called my work, like, good afternoon, can I help? Oh, uh, yeah, actually, I wonder if Daniel is there. Well, no, it's a day off. Is there a message? Oh, actually, yeah. So I've got my life's biggest ever possible battle prepared, and I saw on the internet that it might be cancelled. I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, this is his behaviour at its best. He normally only thinks of his fists, because they're more intelligent than his head. Uh huh. No. Piss head. Plus I heard he likes to put so much sniff into his nose that when he's looking at his finished stash his next delivery of coke comes in a lorry like the Christmas ads. It's a little sad. You're a year older than me but there's a fiancé and three kids residing with Dan. Your wages buys cocaine and rum. Mine provides for my fam. Don't you see, at your age, getting drunk and taking drugs every night is childish and it's time you fucking grow up and start living the life of a man! Woo! Yeah. 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 Boom! I mean, yeah. Wait, let's go! Get him! Get him! Yo, yo, it's uh, round two on Prince Kong, let's go. Get I fucking listened to his tunes but I had to end it quick. I thought censor, that's what I wanted. You should censor this. See, censor's a bitch, censor's a cheat, censor's a snitch, censor's police. Yeah. <laughs> and what's your obsession with dead kids? Especially Northwest kids. Jamie, Reese, Madeline, do you need your head fixed? Because talking all that shit is a blatant bad look. You wrote more about Maddie than Kate McCann's book. Whoa. Whoa. And that shit you, shit you said to old Shay about Hillsborough was very fucked. But then the scouts are back in Sheffield now, and you're the one who's getting crushed. Just because you rest the dust, you still get no respect from us, because no one in the sea gets the amount of hate that Censor does. Yeah. Now, both of us from different ways on neutral turf to square it up. Like two footy firms at Wembley on the final with an FA Cup. Now, Brighton is my place. We're in Sheffield now. Let's tear it up. Big up, big up the L's, Seagulls, Blaze, all of them with fucking Aries up. Yeah. <laughs> one minute. That's one minute. Let's go, Sunday.
Sensor, let's go. <laughs> this man is such a fucking nutter. He puts rum through his eyeball, says there's no need to get a glass. <laughs> then he says his birds really fit. Begs the question, why do you still snort cocaine off Gizmo's hairy ass? <laughs> when he first went to prison, this is the part that he best remembers. Meeting his cellmate, a repeated sex offender. The old boy was a faggot who found Kong attractive and thought prison life couldn't get any better. So he slid along the bench and said, where you from boy? And he said, Brighton! He said, in that case, get up and help me push these beds together. <laughs> <laughs> no. You hope we think that scars make you look hard and that you carry a blade. Disaster. I mean, really, you just look like a twat who got shanked in the face. <laughs> <laughs> the best day of my life is the first day that I met with my daughter. The best day of his life is the first time his dealer accidentally gave him a half instead of a quarter. <laughs> I spoke to Sol Khan about this battle. He said, Prince Kong who? Any of you levels under, dude? I said, yeah, that's fucking true. I started looking at all the other don't flop rappers coming through and then came to realise my mate Troy the white guy, who ain't even a rapper, has got more of a buzz than you. <laughs> that's true. And he just said I was a diva, kind of like I was looking for a check. All I wanted was the time rounds extended. Does that make me a diva or a YouTube pussy to accept? Oh. Oh. That's time. Let's yeah. go. In answer to your question, you fucking faggot. Now I weren't shook to do an unlimited round, I just didn't want to listen to this idiot clown spitting for hours with filler remotely syllables. Now that my condition's the one that you're gonna wish you'd allow. Now, I can't even start to talk about the fact that half of all your bars are ones you started for your flop battle with Arsenal. After all, he was on Twitter like, ask me, Kong won't do unlimited bars, mate. Sensor, stop licking his ass, man. <laughs> no stateside guys, man, you're all in their knackers. He thought Grand Time was a place he could go to fuck rappers. <laughs> but when he lost the Soul Khan, it chipped this guy's British pride. Getting beat by that little Yiddish guy made this bigot cry worse than that anniversary of when Hitler died. Oh. Oh. This prick thinks I won't grip a knife and twist it twice in his left eye for messaging my missus. I should kick his missus chicken fires. <laughs> <laughs> right! What's everyone's obsession with my missus? You a frog, she won't be kissing, she likes princes. Send the messages, I had to step in quickness. I said I'd bite his nose off, scared him shitless. <laughs> See, that Jolly J shit made you look a proper rapist. You look like Simon from the in-between has got a facelift. <laughs> You're nothing but a far-right arsewipe, face it. Beat child, teach child, see Carl, racist. Oh, racist. See, this is hip-hop, six-bitting b-boys. He only raps because he was sacked as Nick Griffin's T-boy. <laughs> and those poor kids, I bet it's rare their dinners are hot. When he's scrimping everything he's got for king of the dot. Going online, begging people to put into the pot Ooh. Until he hits the roulette, spins and fritters the lot <laughs> <laughs> See, you got home to that whole slag and to those kids you'll know that Cause you go into lab brokes and leave there a broke lad <laughs> <laughs> And then William Hill, you're winning his nil He stays up after hours cleaning the shit is to finish his bill Cause he ain't getting the chedding, he's getting in debt through his obsession with betting And all those bars about my coat use, all getting flipped so I'd rather snort a line than throw away a bet and slip. Ooh. So next time this dick's online digging for some change, I'll be like, Peachy, how's it going? What's up? Hey, I've got no kids to rent to me. I can sub you the funds, mate. What's the plane? As it leaves, it says the ticket is one way. <laughs> <laughs> this dick has a throwback from the 90s with a recycled chick. Exactly how many kids have been inside that bitch? No, serious. How many dicks have been inside those lips? She's got like six kids suckling on those weak, tired tits. <laughs> and damn, your skets mess to mess. It's massive wide, right? And you're such a wanker, it affects your eyesight. I saw his missus frigging off on some online shite. Vibrator was so big, it was powered by him on an exercise bike. <laughs> I finished like three projects this year and I'm working on a fourth. His chick's put out like three kids in six years and she's working on a fourth. <laughs> <laughs> but it hurts that none of yours. And I've had this bird, massive bird. She loves him stacking <laughs> pants and shirts. She only shagged this faggy nerd so she don't ever have to work. 
And he moans they rarely fuck. I swear he's so sensitive. I bet she fucks him every time he tucks in someone else's kids. So f shut it, Alan Partridge. All your kids are bastards. All your mates are carrot crunchers. All your family are farmers. You earn £6.10 an hour, shot in city garments. And if your chicks said to take your pants off, you'd say, that's for my department. <laughs> No. Well, yes. This farmer would cry if I said less fire. Because you like temps, right? You on that next part, next part. <laughs> Yo. And he thinks I work at Sky, but that was just a cunning ruse to stop them cunts in blue knowing about the stuff I do. Yeah. If only you fucking knew. <laughs> <laughs> See, they call me, they call me Collecto. So how's he gonna steal a with greasy skin? Even paid prostitutes ain't feeling him. All that fake aggression, the testosterone is feeding him. Nah, he's just stressing on a bitch, but man, that's estrogen. <laughs> so when you see, when you go to Census House, you see dressing gowns marked his and hers. They're his and hers. <laughs> And his, mu and his music, well, I had to hear it to rip it. He's got a track called Not A Rapper. He keeps it real in his lyrics. <laughs> and you tried to bust the track over a bust the track. What the fuck was that? I'd rather hear my uncle rap the theme tune to Thundercats. <laughs> you fucking twat! I've had it with his battling drag. Cause don't flops full of more cocks than H-bombs apparently had. <laughs> Glad to say, the Northerners are always having a laugh. In fact, big up, don't flop. Just fuck these East Anglian facts. <laughs> Yo, and fuck this prick. If he thinks his nuts are big, how about we take this hundred quid and fucking double it? You want? No oh no, you couldn't even come up with it. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, I wouldn't leave you with no hungry kids. <laughs> Yo, that's it. Done. Time. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Now he just said that I was racist when he dropped his writings. Watch a three on three for some festival. He says this man's just fresh come from cotton picking. Wow. That's some true shit. Check me, I'm sick, I actually freestyle unlike you when I speak words. Look at him, he's got a picture of his mum, the gorilla on his t-shirt. I spit it hot. Look at his fucking yellow trainers, they're so hip hop. <laughs> Prick. <laughs> to think for one second you're on my level, this motherfucker is crazy. You should be stood next to a dartboard with a microphone saying 180. <laughs> In a way you repeatedly rape Gizmo isn't funny, it's a trap, that shit haunts him, he can never get the monkey off his back. Ooh. He's as dumb as you like, guaranteed he's never done what I say next in my bars. Read out loud in an English lesson. This is a step up in class. You make me feel like a teacher marking work that deserves a shit grade because of fuck about you. I don't give a. Look at it this way. This is us two when it comes to writing bars. I'm a 2,000 year old royal oak tree with some withered daffodil in some Brighton Park. You're a small fish, I'm a shark. You're a dead liver, I'm a tiger's heart. You're walking in the snow, I'm bumping Doc Dre inside a car. You're in the Bowen taxi in the runway and I'm in that fighter jet that's flying past. Ooh. See, I have laughed. When I said on Facebook I'll battle anyone, you should see the message I received that day. It was from Gizmo, saying, I'll oh, battle you. Then he proceeded to say, so would Prince Kong. I couldn't believe it, mate. It didn't matter which one of you I'd pick, because I'd be facing just as many bars written by both you faggots either way. Woo! True. Yeah. And that's the type of shit that'll leave most of these fans here feeling disgusted. You dirty bastards, putting your heads together to see what you could come up with. <laughs> <laughs> now trust this, we agreed man to man. There was one thing he couldn't diss about me, and vice versa. I looked at the deal that we'd made and I thought, fuck it, it's fine, till I checked my inbox, I got another reply. He's asking for a second thing not to be mentioned. I didn't name him. Because he comes with a line saying, please don't jeopardise my relationship. First I'm thinking, fuck you, then I'm wondering why. I thought that bitch was the love of your life. I started comparing it to that Pakistani compound where the CIA discovered their guy. Because once you put up that wall of defence, it was obvious you had something to hide. Oh, right. So your faithfulness and loyalty to your girlfriend is kind of like a floor, paying host to a corpse weeks after someone had died because it's covered with lies. <laughs> right? You're an aggressive prick who feels like you're becoming a pussy if you don't fight every couple of weeks. Let's admit, you're an alcoholic, I guess that shit, you're probably drunk as we speak. You snort more cocaine than any native Colombian sees, plus you've been to prison. So what's troubling me is your so-called lovely girlfriend knows all this shit, but still you're the one that she's coming to see? Uh -huh. I guess it goes to show what a common, dirty, low-life, skanky such she must be. Whoa! Yeah. Back a couple, 
Set your mind back a couple of beats. Set your mind back a couple of beats. Remember, Jolly J messaged his girlfriend, and so did I. I know that shit was so low, but all I said, ask him, is your boyfriend is a fucking prick. Him beating me is a no-go. As I knew, like the Jolly J message, she passed it on, he went fucking loco. And I thought, why, mate? At least you know it's from me, not like normal when you check her messages that she gets from locals that you don't know. Ooh. See, all of that shit may seem a little bit harsh on Maisie, but I didn't regret it as I said it. Your bird's a maze in reverse, there's many men making entrance in her exit. Next it's, I'll kidnap his bitch slag, then start messing with his drink. Fill it with medicine, the ketamine until he's paralytic, then I think. While you're out of here, I'll punch her till her energy is rinsed. Then force her to OD on Snow White, while she can't be rescued by the prince. Oh. 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 Since royal families do shit together, don't assume you're battle rap's prince, cause you're not. How could you be battle rap royalty with no invites from King of the Dot? Oh. Millions <laughs> watch the royal wedding. Filling people who are British with the pride. He enjoyed the setting, so employed his brethren to reenact it. Here's a picture from the mind. Matt Hatter, the gay page boy. The old Reverend Fittingly was Hines. Adam, the bad rapper, was Harry. While Kong was Prince William and cried tears of joy as TC unveiled that little dwarf cunt Gizmo as the bride. The service was nearly finished, but they just needed a little more time to sort some things out. Like every dope flop event, the Brighton heads there were a shit crowd. Drunk and coked up going, rum calm! Every time Reverend Hines would be, er, uh, telling everyone to sit down. <laughs> as the boys stood on the altar about to have their kiss, Wow! The two boys from Brighton were told you can put your fingers in each other's rings now. <laughs> now you have no idea about the love this man has for fighting. No one outside of your city wants to know you're the hardest man in Brighton. <laughs> That's right, he does look like Vinnie Jones and he really wants to fight today. And you do intimidate me, you know, like a hooligan, in that Danny Dyer way. See, it's slightly strange. In the big cannon ten shoe battle, there was a scrap. He'll tell you he was a big part of the fight, it was the shit. It'll only make you think him being the toughest man in Brighton is legit. So you watch the video, he throws one little punch, it was like this. He moves out of the line of fire like a bitch. <laughs> Switch, he's made an album with Mad Hatter. He's one of Don't Flop's gayest and youngest lads. I'm not saying you're mentally insane when I say I bet you're fucking mad. Bad. The two of you together are the best rap group ever. I mean, really, your crew's popping. It's funny, though, the two of you are a Batman troop, except there's two Robins. No, I'm dropping your crew's name. It's shit. Rumcom. It's a proper mouthful. Yeah, I'm going to start an immature alcoholic rap group. We're going to be cool and call ourselves the Vodka Council. See, if you lived where I lived, you'd be just annoyed. In Brighton, you're called Rum Committee. In Norfolk, everyone would say, what a bunch of rum and boys. <laughs> Shout out Troy, the white guy. Actually, how you doing, Troy? You deserve more time than him. You right? Fuck his face, fuck his style, fuck his voice. His coke habit means he'll do anything for money. He's the most desperate guy in the scene. He'll backstab his mates, deny it, then leave. No golf course when I say that's the lie of the green. Oh. I'm the machine. Pack a punch twice as sick as this bright and kid. Leave your crib a ghost house once my lines have hit everyone inside of it. Whoa, now I admit I'm no fun park to walk through, not the slightest bit. But in Brighton, you're a walking theme park the way so many ride your dick. Oh. See, some people actually like this kid. He has friends and somehow he's managing to keep them. Sometimes, somehow, he's managing to keep them. But he's built up a hard man to wreck. He feels this is brand and this is reason to keep the being the way he is, although it's damaging his being. So the person deep inside of you actually is decent, but the bad part holds up the image like a stand in a museum. It's standard that I'll beat him. In prison, his favourite way to get fucked was from behind while he worked on his knees. He talked to the new boys. Little bit of foreplay, birds and the bees. Now he's got the herpes disease and it burns when he pees. <laughs> Look, in prison, he fucked so many men for his STIs he can hand out no blame. Now his dick still burns from one of his old flames. Mm. Oh look, it's Scarface, Tony Montana. Man, the way you talk to your bird, it's like you've left her. He's like Tony when he talks to Gizmo. I like Maisie, but I like you better. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, waste man! How the fuck can you say that? You're older than me, a cokehead, an alcoholic, a drunk. You love fighting people all the time. I bet even the mirror shows no saving grace. The reflection with blood dripping out of its nose and knives in its hands look back and says, you pathetic waste of space. <laughs> I'll say it, mate. In the two on twos, me and your death actually was shit, but you and Gizmo was fucked. I thought it was supposed to be Kong carrying the bitch. Mm. I've seen it firsthand, <laughs> actions of a prick. Because before Blood in the Water 3, he was being so gangster. Bad mouthing me on Facebook <laughs> after he deleted me <laughs> saying I'm gonna turn up I'm gonna smack him and I'll kill him 
After I battled disaster and soul calm within an hour of each other, I step outside naturally and chilling. I see a drunk Prince Kong approach, I think, all right, come on, I'm gonna be scrapping with this villain. Turns out this faggot gave me more applause than any rapper in the building. <laughs> I've killed him, he's wanted this for a year. I've killed him, he's wanted this for a year. I took to the arrangement of this battle fucking poorly. In that year, I just ignored him, thinking I'm his target now, but soon you'll find another, surely. It started to feel I'm your long commanding officer, and you're my longest standing rifleman because of the amount of time you've been gunning for me. Surely. You can see in his last battle he got drained by verbs Now I believe there's irony This drink had got defeated by a T A Kong ain't performing for no boisterous society Prince is more suited to the royal variety You might try to be King Kong but I'm a giant with words King Kong's a gorilla so I have concurred Damon Albarn, he wishes one day to be a gorilla When right now every night of his life is a blur Word he thinks doing all that coke is absolutely fine, but inside it's making you quite sick though. Your bird will become a well-known weed when you OD on coke, you'll be a white widow. Ooh. If he was someone I'd kill though, I'd wrap his body in a long roll of carpet, chuck him in the river, watch how quick in the river Congo. It's long though. Look at his hip hop, the way he listens to it. The new Dr. Dre album comes out, the store opens at midnight, he's not waiting, but the next day they release a new P. Diddy Kong racing. I'm patient, I pay no attention when a censor's wife or kid's line is used Cause having a wife and kids to the side of you is what everyone here aspires to This shit needs to be fired through Everyone in this scene who disses my kids or me being a dad Just know all of that shit is immature, useless and whack Let's flip the script a second and imagine you as a dad In the maternity ward, the baby pops out of the bloody expanded pussy You'll see him standing there looking proper annoyed Slap his bitch in the face with a bag of coke Like you stupid bitch, I wanted a boy! Yeah. <laughs> Picture his poor daughter coming downstairs Ashtray filled with burnt spliffs To not find a bag of coke on the couch as a first wish When she gets older she'll become curious Smoke his weed but it gets worse quick Weed turns sniff, she gets hooked from a first hit Now his daughter's gotta find ways to pay So a skirt split, prostitute, drug addict Her life will be full of the worst shit And that's why alcoholic, drug addicted, aggressive pricks like you don't deserve kids. Ooh. This is my verdict. In battling, you've done mainly two on twos. Rob Jolly J got murked by verbs and you just used generic rhymes. Me, I've battled some of the world's best great performances, use of clever lines. You are an alcoholic, a drug addict and an aggressive type. Me, I drink casually, no drugs to get me by and I never get in fights. You have been to prison. You're a dickhead, guaranteed you'll re-offend sometime. Me, I've never been to prison and I'll never go. I have no record, fine. You have a missus, but I guarantee in this relationship you know what unlawful sex is like. Me, I love my fiance, I'll be faithful for her for the rest of time. If you had a kid, it would see you snort coke and hit his mum every night. Me, I teach the kids right from wrong, they never see me and lose stress and fight. So fuck all of you or anyone who says otherwise in this hip hop culture. I know everything I suggest is right. Break it down however you you like, I know I'm better than you at every aspect of life. That is the finish. And I will freestyle a little bit more after I've used written so I can freestyle just to prove I'm better because you didn't. How whack you are, your crew in the back saying this shit is boring. <laughs> but none of you are as good as censor. You can all say this shit's boring, but I'm better at freestyling than all you cunts put together. I can freestyle, write, do tracks, anything you like, I'm better than you all. That's it. Let's go. Alright, yo, it's your boy Earl. I'm here my man Chronicle. This is the last decision we're ever saying on camera today. Mickey Worthless is rolling on the floor. He's getting it mugged, man. <laughs> <laughs> This, no, this was the last bout. As I said, unfortunately, it was our main event of the day. We couldn't do it in the uh, venue just over there, but it was a fucking sick day. It was the uh, time share tournament round one battles and all that shit. Shout out Gizmo Battle from Brighton, everyone else who battled as well came from other areas. Right, basically, we had a 4 1 decision from the judges, man. It was, yeah, I thought it was going to be 3 2, but it was actually 4 1 in favour of Sensor. Wow. Shout out Kong, though, let's go. Sick battle, sick battle. Jamie, Jamie Barnwell, Rip dancing all over your mother's grave. Uh, Troy the White Guy, Troy the White Guy, Troy the White Guy, Yo, it's Blizzard. I'm stood on a platform because I'm three foot one. Basically, that battle was easily 
the toughest to judge of the day and easily the best and I'm happy that Sensor actually made it to battle right so I don't want to judge this on Sensor's overtime because Sen no, Sensor's third round because Sensor's third round was the longest in a battle and it's going to stick in everyone's minds but I personally think Gizmo, the Prince Kong, Prince Kong got two rounds to one Sensor definitely got the overtime that's just my opinion I give it to Prince Kong Yo, just watch this sickest out, outdoor battle ever, man. You know, Sensor versus Prince Kong. And it's well hard to judge because the first round, I think Sensor had that shit, but then Prince Kong definitely had the second round. And then the third round, I was feeling Prince Kong. He was going sick for time. And then Sensor come on and went on for time, and it went on for ages, man. And I was like, ah, I'm trying to think, like, who was better because it, it was different things, innit? And I'm just, just gonna have to say, because Sensor went on for time, and he had some sick bars, I'll just give it Sensor man, but I fucking hate judging this man. Sensor just. Yo, it's fame, um, just watch oh, Sensor and Prince Kong. That was a fucking crazy battle, I think. Sensor got the first round, just about. Prince Kong got the second round, just about, and then the third round was fucking crazy. Unlimited time, each MC could do what they wanted. I think the MC that made the most of it for me was censored just about. They both had crazy, crazy personal stuff like that, but for me, censored got it. Psychosis Holocaust in Sheffield for Don't Flop North. Fucking hell, my head feels like it's gonna blow off. Fucking bars for days, both of them. Fucking sick battle. Everything that I expected it to be. Two guys that don't like each other. I love this grudge match shit. Like, fucking break it down like this. I can't even remember round for round what was said, but there was, there was both hitting it so fucking hard. I'm, I'm giving it to Sensor, yeah. And the reason is because in the third round, it's not even just in the third round, man. I can't even think, man. The battle was sick, but like, the, the third, basically, it, it all come down to me in the third round because the, because the first two rounds were so even. I couldn't call it, and I said. Right, I'm gonna have to because I'm fucking judging. I'm like, I've got to, I've got to judge this in the third round. So the way I see it is, in the third round, Kong, it was an unlimited round, and Kong went for like a couple of minutes or something, and then Sensor just hit him with a fucking albums worth of bars, man. He just beat him around the head with an albums worth of bars with some proper real shit. All everything he said, you'll know. Watch the battle, you know. What I mean, the real shit. The third round was sick. So Sensor, yeah, safe to feel. Just see the fucking wicked battle between Kong and Sensor. Absolutely amazing. I think when I go it one round by round, I'm thinking sense around one, sense around two. Just kind of want to see more from Kong in round three. I think if he'd have done a couple more minutes, I think it'd have been a bit even. Um, but I'm going to go with sensor in all three rounds. Like, I think they were both sick as fuck, but um, sensor definitely.